Good morning and welcome to the video. Today we are going to Harewood to take photos of red deers and I'm going out with the Nikon Z6 to see how it performs taking photos of wildlife. I'm also going to be there at the golden hour so hopefully get some even more incredible shots. Fingers crossed of course. Now first of all we have to get to Harewood so my train leaves in an hour so we're going to hopefully do some b-roll and get there. So let's begin. And you join me in Harewood. Now, it took about an hour to get here, not too bad, but I've been here twice before and every time I've left here, I've got so many amazing photos of male red deer stags. Absolutely beautiful, majestic animals, but this location, if you live near this area where Harewood, check how far it is from you if you're in the Yorkshire area or something like that and you will be pleasantly surprised and glad you came here because there are so many red deers here. You are gonna be in for a hell of a time getting amazing photographs and hopefully today, I'm gonna to walk away with some absolutely fantastic photographs. So wish me luck and let's begin and let's go and see those red deers. Can't wait. So something we have to do before we actually start with photographing is we need to swap this setup up. Got my vlogging setup here, but we need to now switch it over for my photography setup, which is going to be with the Sigma lens and everything. So, let's begin with that. There you go, after some time, the camera is ready, and we're ready to start shooting. Let's begin. This is absolutely spectacular. And this is the weirdest vlogging kind of setup ever. I've got a Z6 in my hand, and a GoPro's on top of the, uh, the hot shoe mount. I'm hearing a red deer over there, making its mating call and I'm going to see if I can get close to it uh, because, but I don't know where it is because the problem is, is there's hills all here so we don't know where it's coming from and I don't want to just all of a sudden be on top of it because that's something that happens here obviously we have to be a lot more careful well we always have to be careful because of their testosterone they're basically horny bastards at the moment we get a mate it's, it's doing the uh, I can't remember the noise it's called it's proper terminology but it's doing its noise to try and attract the females. None of the females are having it though, they're like, go away. Basically like university students at um, a nightclub, they always try and get girls. Try and make weird noises once they've had a gurgly belly full of alcohol. But nothing really works. <sighs> so, about... 20 meters in front of me there is a red deer um, I've already gone for about half the battery on this camera from just taking it out of quite a lot of shots because it is just absolutely beautiful I've never seen a red deer like that and it's looking right at me I'm not going any closer because I didn't see him uh, so the main thing with wildlife photography is you do not want to disturb the wildlife at any cost. Now, as I said, I just came across it. I didn't realise it was here because I usually walk through this forest and then I was trying to spot them from a distance. But something everyone needs to know about wildlife photography or try to avoid maximum of not trying to disturb the wildlife because this is their home. I don't want to disturb them. Just look, looking at it. It is amazing, absolutely beautiful. And straight away one thing I have noticed is even though I'm using the Sigma 1.4 teleconverter on with the F to Z adapter and in the Sigma 150 to 600, on the screen, many of the results handheld are sharp, really sharp. And I'm like, that's insane. And wow, I've only been here about 20 minutes. And already, just amazing results. Let's keep going and let's see what we can find, yeah? Oh, 
little update on my progress everything is going really well it's been another hour and um, I've taken a few more good shots I've been waiting the opportunities really to come to me and I don't get what these noises are they mean something it's like Minecraft villagers <sighs> just walked up to me. Absolutely incredibly beautiful. And I'm gonna try and get a photo if you don't mind. Bye bye. So it is now the golden hours, the sunset behind me. So what I'm going to try and do is get myself into a position and try and do a silhouette shot. We've got the sunset, we've got deers, and I've got the camera to do it. I just need to do my part now and get it done. Full sunset behind. This has been an incredible day. I've been able to get absolutely incredible photographs with this beast, the Nikon Z6. Absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to see what these look like on the final screen. And yeah, it's just been absolutely superb. I loved it. And there we go. An absolutely fantastic day in Harewood. I have taken so many amazing photographs of Red Deer. The memory card on the Z6 is nearly completely full. There's only three minutes left of 4K video available because I've been taking that many photographs, but the Z6 has performed absolutely amazingly. The focus has been great. I've been using the teleconverter all day with no problem because it's just been sharp, it's been great, it's been fast. And I am super happy with the photos I've been able to take today and it's just been a beautiful day here. I absolutely love this place for taking photos of red deers and it's so amazing to see them all over, they're still over there and everything like that. And yeah, it really makes you appreciate it. That wildlife is just an absolutely beautiful thing. And to have this quite close to me and come here and have this my little space up here where I can come and watch red deers, come and take some beautiful photos and have a great day out. And yeah, today has been one of those amazing days. If you also enjoyed my journey and enjoyed the video, then be sure to hit the like button and maybe consider subscribing. And until next time, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again.